Welcome to Studio Video, folks. I'm your friendly host, James Thomas. This is where I typically introduce you to fashion models and photographers. I demonstrate how I draw their charcoal portraits. I share my most recent commissions. I give you guys this funky time-lapse material and hopefully set some dope art on your walls. So if that sounds interesting, please like and subscribe for more gooey eye candy. All right, well today I'll be featuring two incredibly talented people from Columbus, Ohio. I am showcasing the beautiful fashion fantasy model, Kara Sterling, a professional Celtic musician that plays in a band called Lone Raven. Both Celtic culture and folklore mythology throughout the world heavily influence what she creates as a model. And we have the visionary fashion photographer, James Sterling. He's been out in Columbus since his stay at Columbus College of Art and Design over a decade ago, AKA the best art school in Ohio, AKA my alma mater. He's landed the perfect role at a photo studio for fashion and loves being able to create mainstream fashion imagery during the day and explore more creative outlets on his own at night. Okay, quick shout out to all my old classmates at CCAD and all the memories of the homework parties and we had in the old studio apartments we endearingly called the crack house. It wasn't a crack house, but we used to climb up to the top of the roof and use this three-man slingshot to fire water balloons down on the kids walking to class. <laughs> we were such jerks. <laughs> but chances are, if you were a student and hung out with me way back then, you probably don't remember it. So we're good, right? I'll share James and Kara's links below in the description for future bookings. Uh, please follow more of their content with their hashtag myth photos for additional candy for your eye holes. All right, well, this is the image we'll be drawing from. There is so much drama to unpack in this image. One thing I've noticed in all of Kara's images is that they all are so dramatic and her face tells different stories in each image. Kara and James refer to this image as the Banshee. Now, the Banshee is this mythical witch female type figure. Uh, if you want to use the Google description, it's a female spirit whose wailing warns of an impending death in a house. When I first saw the image, I saw a mythical woman standing over the river. So my mind went to another mythical femme fatale called a siren. Now a siren in Greek mythology was a female figure or a creature who lured sailors to destruction by the sweetness of their songs. I'm going on such a tangent here and that's because the image is that good. This image can capture all these stories. And I'm not even talking about the composition, the lighting, the saturation, uh, the tones, and all these things that are technical achievements by James. And they are. I kind of feel like I'm cheapening the photo by just zooming in on the face. Well guys, let's see how it turns out. Wasted time, think 
Here's Kara, folks. I had really wanted to pull through a fantasy portrait vibe in this, but I think I seem to have strayed from a femme fatale mood and drifted into a nurturing lady in the woods type of zone. I still love the result. It's just strange that I started in one direction and kind of drifted off into a completely different with pretty cool results. Uh, Karen James, thank you guys so much for being good sports and letting me draw the portrait. You two are such an amazing fashion duo. Viewers, follow their links below in the description uh, and just see what I mean. All right, well, if you're curious on how you can get a one-of-a-kind unique charcoal portrait, follow the link up here and down below in the description to help get you started. Please remember to like and subscribe for more continual content and every 50th subscriber will receive a free portrait and feature by me here on the YouTube channel. Well guys, until next time, sketch you later.